Hello Aries, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to let's see what this is. So somebody probably feel demasculated. Jeez, we got cars flying all over the place. So somebody's trying to recover something. So I feel like somebody either feel demasculated or somebody's trying to put somebody down mentally, okay? Alright, but it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 21st through the 28th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I like to close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, share, subscribing, and setting up personal readings. And I received my first donation today. It was pretty cool. Well, not, it was a couple of days ago, but thank you. You know, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I do this because I love to do it. But make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Other than that, let's get this show on the road, okay? What's going on for Aries, Aries, Aries? Ooh, Aries. you just all over the place this week, huh? Let's make sure no flippers, all right? What's going on for Aries for the week of? Aries love reading in the week of August 1st through 28th. Aries, August 1st through the 28th, August 1st through the 28th. I just had like a bit of anxiety. I don't know if it was happy or sad though. Okay. Ooh, that's, that's not good anxiety. But this could be you since it's face down. All right, what's going on? Aries, love life. Mm -mm. This makes me feel like everybody's cheating. Okay, so here it seems like somebody's cheating because um, they're not sexually attracted to you anymore. That's what I'm feeling like. Or um, they just don't like it. Or you don't like it. Okay. Mm. Okay, so... I'm going to just say it like I do my personal reading. Says, so it seems like everybody has a, a third party. Even if you're not dating them, maybe they just looking at you or you just flirting, whatever. But I feel like, okay, I see now. Somebody has a third situation because um, they're not getting sex at home. You're not getting sex at home. And then also they're getting their boundaries broken. So somebody is getting on your nerves and not sleeping with you, okay? Yeah, so this has been going on for a while, so at least um, three to six months. Ooh. So it seems like somebody just may be pregnant or think they're pregnant by somebody else. Okay? But if you're not pregnant, you better slow down before you get there. Or... Maybe this could be your partner doing all this. They could have um, start, stepped out because you were violating their personal space. You wouldn't sleep with them, so they went off and had a baby. Mm. All right. Ugh. So this um, might be somebody that they work with or could be somebody you work with, but I feel like it's coming from lower than them. I feel like they're their boss or they're their superior, you know? So, yeah. All right, one more for the road. Then we're going to do the Cleo cards. I read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. All right, so. Uh, so I'm feeling like it might have been some kind of separation or something here. But it's telling you, you, you might want to leave this situation and keep going if you left it. All right, and the overall feeling of it is like honesty. Like I might, I feel like somebody might end up coming out about this. I mean, yeah, because you're not going to be able to hide a baby. And that's just that. Okay? Alright, what's going on for the Aries? Aries? What's going on for the Aries for the week of August 21st through the 28th, 2017? Love reading. Aries love reading. 21st through the 28th, 2017. Mm. First thing I thought when I said this Hope card, I, I mean, uh, the Star card, uh, I heard Hope. And I feel like, um, I feel like either someone is hoping this baby ain't theirs or hoping they not pregnant. That's the first thing that I thought of when I seen this. So I feel like somebody been having a, okay, so it looked like it just might be 
Yeah, might not be might not be yours. You're gonna get a message in the mail or an email or something saying that it's, that it's not yours or the the thing the baby isn't there. And I feel like it's gonna be sad but happy at the same time. So I don't know if somebody gonna make them a, have a miscarriage or something. But a whole lot of people fighting love was definitely lost in this situation. All right. Aries, Aries, Aries. 821 through the 28, 2017. Love reading. Mm, I just felt like butterflies in my stomach here. Mm, okay. Hmm. Wow. All right, so just looking at these cards, it looked like somebody gave uh, somebody a false love offer, but... I feel like this was believed because this person had a lot of money. So, like, okay, or a, a lot of material things, they gave a love offer off. So, maybe somebody gave a love offer off to you because they saw that you have a lot, but it was some bull crap. And then now you're waiting for some com communication about this love, and it's not, it's not real. It's like a sh shaky little thing. Okay, so, but basically in the future, it looked like it's going to be pretty good for your love situation. Jesus. But not at the one at work. Somebody is getting done thinking and contemplating and being depressed about something that happened at work. So, let's see. Oh, what's at the bottom? All right, yeah, so somebody's going their separate ways. They're done. All right, so we're going to read the Nine of Coins first. The Nine of Coins says, um, is it upright, um... Many of your dreams are approaching. It is now time for financial gain and the realization of your goals. So it's basically like it's time to get your stuff together. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. It says, Facade, fake smoke, mirrors, and distraction. So, oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody was thinking they was going to get a promotion out of this, but they wasn't. But somebody was being deceitful and lying. All right. So let's see what the eight is upright. Um, it may be time to move on and start new plans. Do not let your pride stop you from making a change. So it's like, I don't know. It, with all these other cards, it makes me feel like, okay, I lost one. Move on. You know, kind of thing. That's what it's trying to tell you here. You know, I know when you got, I mean, this could be a new job too. So it also, don't, it doesn't have to be a fertility. So it's maybe somebody was offering you a new job or you're offering somebody else a new job. But I feel like you might've been sleeping with this person at the same time. And, you know, you didn't get it. So it's, it's a, quite a few stories going on here. All right. So um, we have the hermit reversed. Let's do the hermit. All right. It, uncertainty, depression, and doubt. Yeah, so about this job thing. I mean, I feel like... I mean, or it could be about the relationship. You're just uncertain if it's going to go right. You know, after all this stuff that went down, you know. It's like you said you was going to do this for me, but you didn't. All right, then we got the three of coins. Reverse. Uh, this card indicates silly workplace rivalry, boredom with your position. So, yeah, you got sick of your position, or this person got sick of their position and tried to um, use grown-up ways to climb up the shelf, if you know what I mean, and it didn't work like that. You know, somebody was bamboozled. All right, so we have the two of staffs. Mm-mm-mm. Two of staffs, and it's reversed. A surprise, unexpected outcome, and fearful anticipation. I don't know. First thing I thought of is somebody getting caught. So I feel like somebody is about to get caught or maybe somebody got about to get dumped. But um, it looks like it might not go according to plan when it comes to the job part of the situation. All right, we got the Ten of Cups. Um, your attention should be at your home and peace in your home. It is time for balance and peace and harmony is present. So I'm going to just pull one more card. So we know it's supposed to be good things, peace and harmony going on there. But I'm going to just pull one more just to see what's up with that. What is this peace and harmony about? What is this thing that about for the Aries? Okay. Ooh. So 
It's basically like you're going to have to get your money together. Okay, you are being watched too. So it's like, I feel like, let's just read it. It seems like you just got to get your money together and it'll bring peace in your home. Okay, a person who may want too much is indicated. A person who indulges him or herself, but real, um, basically nobody else. So it's basically, I don't know, I feel like in... And coming, you're gonna have a, a time where you find more peace in yourself and stop thinking about other people helping you out. This is gonna bring a reality check about you can't use people to get what you want. But that's all I have. Um, if you want a personal read, check in the description box below. Other than that, thank you for everything you do and have a wonderful week.